45 minutes tops. And then we'll go outside and play. Not right now. In a little bit. What's up guys? Wanted to show you my new mirrors. So these are cheap $15 mirrors from eBay. From China. I think they're like 15 maybe 17 bucks for the two. Originally I had bought a CNG lane splitting expensive ass mirrors where you got to buy an adapter for them. Well, I'll get on the bike and talk about it on the ride. Oops, it's kind of hot. Let me leave that open for a little bit. All my zippers closed. Kitty cat. So yeah, initially, from where I bought the bike, I went down to the bike dealership and bought these bar end mirrors that um, were like 130, 140 bucks. CNG lane splitting. So they fold it in if you hit anything, or if you just wanted to fold them in while you know putting your cover on or something. And um, in order to fit those, there's weights in the bar ends. Some bikes, they can, you can just pop them out. But on the KTM 390 Duke, you actually need to drill them out to get the mirror adapters into the handlebars. And I didn't want to do that. Um, and they were expensive as hell, and I didn't really like the way they looked. They came out, and I really like the way these mirrors come up instead of out. And I can see good out of these. So I returned those and took a chance on the cheap $15, $17 mirrors from eBay from China. And I really like them. I think they look a lot better. I can see, I think, better. Um, and <laughs> there's like little nubs on the end of the handlebars that you take off, that I took off and put the mirrors right to the end of the grips when I first put them on. And uh, the right one, when I th twisted the throttle, the mirror twisted with it. So I was like, oh shit, these aren't going to work. But then I put the nub back on and the, the screw that was holding the nub on was long enough just to get the mirror on and the nub that was on there. So I just have that nub on the, on the throttle side, the right hand side now. But yeah, I'm very happy. I've only had them for a few days on, and I haven't really been riding much. But enough to tell that I like them a lot better than the stock mirrors. The stock mirrors were crap, and the expensive mirrors would have... I didn't, wasn't crazy about the way they looked, and I would have had to drill out the bar and weights that are... Or the handle weights, or whatever they're called. And I didn't really want to do that. So, I'm very happy with these cheap Chinese eBay ones. Like I said, I like the way that they come up instead of out. Took a little getting used to not being able to have to go over them instead of just coming right through with your hand. So I also bought a bag for my dog. That was not cheap either. I got it off Amazon. Pet Ego, Pet Ego. And they have a strap or an attachment made specifically for motorcycles. And um, I'm hoping just that one, I'm returning it. I like the bag. I hope it'll fit still. But the one um, I had, the buckles that attach to the attachment, the motorcycle attachment, wouldn't fasten in like snap in place so I'm hoping it was just that one manufacturer defect on that one because I got a replacement one coming I'm actually I don't have a printer at my house so I'm going to uh, my girl's restaurant because she printed up a return label for me so I'm going down there to 
grab some breakfast and grab that return label because UPS is supposed to be coming today to pick up the one that wouldn't work. So yeah, it was like the sport wagon. It was pretty big, but I want the dog to be comfortable and I think it'll work. Could have had room to pass him to. Do it now. <clears throat> Beautiful day in eastern Connecticut. Yeah, so I can't think of what else. Oh, I have all the air vents on the helmet open, which half the time I don't even think to check. So I wanted to see if the noise sound uh, for the microphone is picking up any worse with all the air vents open. Because I know I tend to shout just because it's kind of loud in the helmet. But I really don't need to be because it sounds fine on the video. So I constantly have to remind myself, stop shouting, idiot. Oh, that's the other thing I did. I took out the cheek pads for the helmet. Because it is a snug helmet, which I like. Yeah, it's snug. I don't want it loose. Um, but I took the cheek pads out to try to see if uh, it was easier to talk without having that chipmunk effect. But it was way too loose. Like, those cheek pads tighten the helmet up nicely so I guess I just have to deal with talking like a chipmunk because when I took those out it was just way the whole helmet was just uh, way loose Yeah, so the, the dog bag that I'm returning and getting the exact same one, hopefully one that works, was like 85 bucks. And then the motorcycle adapter, to adapt that to the bike, it was like a platform with straps, it was like 30 bucks. So, talking like 115 for the whole thing. And then I ordered her little goggles too, but those haven't come in yet. But I want to be able to take the dog and the bike. I think that would be cool. Yeah, it's actually not that hot today. I probably should have worn more gear, gloves and jacket. I got my boots on. I always wear my boots when I ride because the shifter is too uncomfortable with the sneakers. But it didn't make sense to me wearing jacket and gloves and shorts. I wasn't changing out of my shorts. I just figured, screw it. Just wear my boots and my helmet.
Shady Acres in Foster, Rhode Island. If you're in the area, come meet here. We got a wedding to pay for.